this is Lori and today I'm going to share how to control an RGB LED with three push buttons. Each push button will control the red, green, or blue color in the LED. Um, so first we'll look at a diagram of an RGB LED and you can see that there are four leads that come out of the LED. You'll notice that they're slightly different lengths. The longest one is the ground. Uh, lead and then there is the red, green, and blue leads and you can see slightly different colors so you can kind of figure out how to orient the LED as you uh, connect it up to your Raspberry Pi. Um, it's a little more difficult to connect up an RGB LED because you need three current limiting resistors, one for each of the colors and then you need to connect each color to a pin on the Raspberry Pi to control it. This is the circuit I used uh, to uh, do this project and I had two different kinds of uh, RGB LEDs. One was the clear uh, LED and one was kind of an opaque color so I wanted just to see how they looked side by side to see whether I liked one better than the other. So I hooked both of them up. So if we just focus on, on the one on the left you will see that the um, LED there, the three uh, resistors, and you can see the connection to the ground rail. And then there are three uh, wires connecting to GPIO pins for the LED. Then next to that are the three buttons that I'll use to connect to control the red, green, and blue colors. And if you press the button, that color will come on and if you press the back button again you'll turn that color off um, so for each each of the colors and you can see they're also connected to the ground rail and then connected to GPIO pins on the Raspberry Pi and you can just see as you move to the right you can see the same duplicate setup for the additional uh, LED so next we'll go to seeing how I controlled this with the Python code So here's the code I used to control the RGB LED using the push buttons for red, green, and blue. Um, first, I have one set of code for just controlling the one LED from the kit, and then I have a set of code um, for controlling two. All I did to control two was really just double everything um, and make a second set of variables and a second set of code that controls the second LED. So I'll just focus on uh, the one to show the general uh, idea. So import the libraries, set up a delay time variable, and then now we need to set up uh, the RGB LED. And so I uh, hook the red, green, and blue pins up and set them up as output. And then we need to set up the pins for the three buttons, the red button, the green button, and the blue button and then set them up with um, internal pull-up resistors here. Then to keep track of uh, whether the button's been pressed, um, we need to keep have a previous loop uh, status of the button, and then we also need to know what the state of uh, the LED is. Is the red on? Is the green on? Is the blue on? Um, so we can know whether to turn it on or off uh, depending on whether, when the button was pushed. So in the while true loop, um, first thing we do is read the buttons to see if we've gotten any input. And this is very similar to the button uh, programs we've done before. If the button previous is zero and the button current is one, then we know that the button has been pressed and then let go of. And then we just need to check the LED state to see if it's on or off and to switch the state. So that's what this does. If it's um, off, then we're going to turn it on and change the state to true. And if it's um, already on, then we're going to turn it off. And we need to do that for the red, the green, and the blue pins. Um, I also printed that out just so I could see, um, you know, whether the button was pressed for red, green, or blue. And uh, then, of course, very important is to um, set the previous to the current before you go into the next loop. Small delay time for debouncing, and then to get out of the program, we'll use a keyboard interrupt to do the cleanup. 
So to see this uh, code run in action, let's, let's just work with the one LED from the kit. So we'll kick off that program. And I'll just show you the printout I have here. So it just shows me the state of red, green, and blue. And then we'll come down and focus in on the buttons. And we'll go ahead and press the red button. And we'll see it came to red. And I'll just show you that the printout also now says true for the red. And uh, this is pretty fun. You can kind of go and if you add, if you press the green button, it'll add green to the color. Um, and it'll tell you that they're both on. Both the red and green are both on. So now if I click the red off, you'll see red goes to false. And now you'll see it's a solid uh, green on there. And uh, I can turn the green off. And now everything's completely off. And I can put the blue on and I put the green on, I put the red on, and you get almost a whitish kind of color when you do that. It doesn't really show up on the uh, video too well. And then we can just turn them all off. So you can play around and try different colors, um, combos there, and you do get some interesting colors, but not too many uh, colors to choose from, but there we go. So, that so now let's run the code for both of um, buttons together. So I'll kick that one off. And of course it gets a lot more complicated. There's the kit LED and the status of red, green, and blue. And then there's the other LED and the status of red, green, and blue. It gets a little hard to keep up with, so it um, may not be as helpful in this case. But let's take a look at the other um, LED. And I have to say I kind of prefer this LED. Um, not sure it shows as well here, but the color is much more vibrant um, in person. And uh, there's my green for that one. And so, for example, let's turn on the green for for the other one. And uh, I think the opaque uh, is kind of nice, and it definitely makes it show up a little bit better on the on the video screen. Um, so it was kind of fun programming these to uh, kind of see what would happen. So let's look at the blues. Um, they're pretty similar, especially on the camera. Let's turn the blues off and we'll turn the reds on so you can see them. So, um, two different LEDs, but they ended up working the same and it was fun hooking them both up. Hope you enjoyed this project and thanks Paul for the great assignment.